to replace your main serpentine belt, which is for the alternator, the water pump, and the power steering, you're going to have to open the hood and then locate your tensioner. Your tensioner is going to be right underneath this air box. So if you look at it, you can remove this clamp right here with an 8 millimeter socket or a flathead screwdriver. And then if you follow it, there's going to be the same thing right here. Remove both of these. Now you don't have to remove these all the way. You can just loosen it up. Do the same to this one right here next to the mass airflow sensor. Once these are loose, you can grab onto it, pull it straight out, and wiggle this side off as well. Right here on this flat part, there's going to be a connector for the PCV. Pull that right out, and now your air intake tube is free. Okay, now you get yourself a 15 millimeter socket. You can use a wrench or a breaker bar like I have, or a ratchet. Push down on the tensioner, take the belt off, move it away. Let go of the tensioner, remove your tool, and now you can remove the rest of your belt. Pay attention to how it's routed. All the flat pulleys will have the back side of the belt, and all the rib pulleys will have the rib side of the belt. You want to take the main belt, stretch it out, compare the length. This one's perfect, so let's install it. All right, so to install your new serpentine belt, I'm going to start by bringing it down onto the harmonic balancer. It's the crank pulley down here. I'm going to bring it up and over this water pump. Once it's over the water pump, bring it down underneath the power steering, over the alternator, underneath this idler. Get your tool on here. Relief tension. Okay, once it's on all the pulleys, let go. Make sure you put tension on it and then feel it. Make sure it does not sit off of any ribs. And I can see the crank is perfect also. So take off your tool. To put your air intake back on. Make sure there's no debris inside the throttle body. And place it down to where it belongs. Connect it on this end. Bring this down. Don't forget about your PCV connection here. Bring it over the throttle body. Double check this area. Put back any hoses that might have popped off, and then very gently snug these clamps up. Okay, double check everything. At this point, you'd want to start the truck for just a couple seconds, and then shut it off. Come double check your belts and make sure they're all sitting on the uh, pulleys properly.